All right. Um, I thought I would uh, do this morning here. I'm gonna adjust a couple lights. Is uh, I thought we'd do a video this morning of the black, the black diamond coronamid. I've had a couple requests for this a hair of late in the vise. I've got a uh, two extra long bent shank hook. This is a Montana fly hook, uh, 7231. Uh, this fly does uh, pretty much take two colors of thread. So I've got a white and a black. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So we're gonna go ahead and start the white thread right behind the eye of the hook. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to achieve a very slender, uh, a very slender abdomen. So the the body material on this fly is a product that's put out by it's Firefly. It's kind of a oh a flash of boo, but it's got I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a texture to it. Uh, so that's the main part of the body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this in. I'm going to get it started and tie it in right on top of the hook shank. Now I'm going to take my ribs, and this is a uh, dual rib fly. One extra small red, one extra small black. Then I'm going to attach those. We're going to attach those right on the side of the hook. And now what I'm going to do is take the thread. I'm going to flatten it out. I want to keep this very slender and very smooth. So I'm going to flatten out a little bit more. And then I'm going to run this back, touching turns, keep no spaces, back to the point opposite the barb. keeping that wire on the side and that uh, firefly on the top. Okay, so I'm going to go now back to the back to the front of the hook with touching turns. Okay. Now, before I wrap the firefly on the top of the fly, I'm going to take a black Sharpie and just blacken the top of the abdomen. Now let's take the, the firefly and we're going to wrap that forward in touching turns. What you're going to see here is you'll see a, an iridescence, uh, kind of reminding me a little bit of a peacock. And once I'll show you here in a second as I tie this off. So I'm going to run the firefly all the way up to the front. Clip that off. I don't know if you can see it, but it, you, can, you get this like a peacock iridescence on the top half of this fly. Now I'm going to take the two strands of wire, the red and the black, and we're going to wrap this forward. And kind of the trick to keeping these together is get them started together. And if they separate, just take your thumbnail and just uh, push them back together a little bit. Okay, we got now we've got the wire rib, the wire rib wrapped forward. Come in and cut off your excess. And at this point, we're just going to go ahead. Now it's time to change threads. So we're going to throw throw a quick whip finish here. Make sure you give yourself enough thread. off the white thread. Now I'm going to go ahead 
We're going to start our black. The same point right behind the eye. And black over and run it back a little ways. Alright, now at this point I'm going to go ahead and tie in the wing buds. Um, I was using biots on this and then I saw something really interesting. I can't remember exactly where I saw it. It was on another video online. I'm going to turn the hook upside down. And the wing buds I'm using is a piece of amber uh, Swiss straw. So what we're going to do is get that down to where we want our wing buds. And about 80, about the 80% point. I'm going to tie this in like a spinner wing. I'm going to do a couple wraps and put them in parallel. Turn it 90 degrees. And then I'm going to do a quick cross on it just to hold this into place. Make sure that's tied in. Okay, now what I did there is I just turned the hook back forward. Now what I'm going to do we're going to build up the thorax. Now, also on this fly, leave yourself a little extra space at the head because we got to tie in the breathers. And if you crowd it, it makes it a little tricky. All right. Now I'm going to take the, the Swiss straw. I'm going to pull the near side forward and I'm going to kind of wrap it from the bottom to the top and then I'm going to take the far side do the same thing so now you've got them on there and you can kind of see them crossing clip come let's come clip off the excess Now, I'm going to, where did it go? Uh, the breather material is, uh, there it is. It's just your normal uh, floss from Oral-B. I'm going to take it up right behind the eye of the hook. So we're going to tie that in. Okay, get it tied in. I'm going to come in and clip off this little leftover. I'm going to do a couple wraps in front. And then we're just going to cover that up. And then we're going to come in with a quick whip finish. fly is basically done except for the coating um, I don't, I'm, what I'm coating with this with is the UV resin uh, from uh, Deer Creek Flies it's called Diamond Hard uh, it's a tack free resin and it's really the only one that I have found that is truly tack free but this is uh, Diamond Hard out of uh, the UK by Deer Creek Flies So what I'm going to do is take a bobbin here and load up a good bunch of it. Now this stuff's got some thick uh, thickness to it. To make sure you... And that's another reason I like this product. Okay, we're going to get it all spread. I want to put a little bit more up on the thorax. Okay. 
Okay, I think we've got it. So now we're going to hit it with the torch. This is their laser torch. And it only takes a, a quick second here. Okay, and then I'll take the, now that we got it coated, yeah, it looks pretty good. And then I'm going to take my breathers, clip them, and then what I'm going to also do, don't use the same one we just did the resin on, let's take a, a, a needle here, and I'm going to fluff out the fluff out the uh, the breathers and there we have it it's the it's the black diamond coronamid uh, and there you have it